Hello everyone, welcome to Whisper the Mystery. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. So this reading is for all of you Cancerians out there and we're going to see what's in store for you for the month of July. This would show the overall prediction. This would be in regards to your uh, relationships. This is in regards to your career and finances. And this would show the guidance or messages from the spirit. Okay, so we're going to start first with the overall message. Okay, Cancerians, July 2020. So we have here the Four of Wands, the Lovers, Eight of Wands, and Seven of Cups. Okay, Cancerian. So now I feel that the theme overall this month is going to be concerning your relationships all right so we have it the four of wands lovers definitely here it looks like the relationship part is going to be a major theme for you this month now along with that we have it the seven of cups so i do see you having a lot of dreams desires and with the eight of wands combined you have a passion as well to make all these dreams into a reality but because it's the seven of cups i feel like those dreams um, are still not materializing okay they're kind of just dreams you are very passionate about them but they are still not out there you're still not taking those um, concrete steps to convert those dreams into a reality okay so it could be where this month you'll be spending a lot of time there daydreaming imagining things having that fire within you that yes you can do it so you'll be um, planning things quite a lot I'm sensing and when it comes in regards to your um, relationships, I do feel like there is going to be something uh, major out there happening for you. For some of you who are already in a committed relationship, there could be a proposal coming up. Okay, Those of you who are already in a committed relationship. But for those of you who are not in a relationship yet, I feel like there could be someone out there who could be interested in you. There could be few people out there rather who seems to be interested in you. Maybe this month you're still going to be like out there. You're going to be um, quite a bit on social media. You'd be going out quite a lot. So I'm seeing that there are people out there who are going to be very, very interested in you. So it's of course up to you who do you choose because we have the lovers here it's a card of choices as well so there could be certain choices here which needs to be made but for those of you who are in a connection who are in your relationship there is something big there for you okay there is something uh, major out there for you maybe again you could be proposed and all these dreams all this beautiful vision there could be coming up for you okay so yep that's the theme let's now move into your relationships and see what exactly comes up for you right so we have the page of wands empress six of swords knight of swords and the queen of wands right so we have here interestingly two wands energy we have here the page of wands and the queen of wands as i said earlier for those of you who are single, okay, I feel there's a beautiful opportunity here to meet someone new. And it's going to be a very, very fire. There's so much a fire for you this month, Cancerians, so much. Even in the overall prediction, we had four of wands and we had eight of wands, I believe. Yeah. And here again, we have page of wands and queen of wands. So there's a lot of fire here I'm seeing. But I'm seeing this a lot in regards to your relationship especially. So there is an opportunity here for you to meet someone new and have this, 
you know, like fiery new beginning here with someone. It could be where the person you're meeting could be younger than you, I'm sensing. Okay, so just keep an open mind with that. Because I feel that you are in this Queen of Wands energy right now. You are right there. You are so ready here, I'm seeing, to um, accept and embrace new things in your life here. Okay, so that's beautiful for all of you singles out there. And for those of you who are in connections or relationships, I feel that if you have been in a very troubled connection here where things have not been working out, we have it a six of swords. So you are going to uh, decide to take a break from that, to take a break from all those difficulties. This could be where your connection is very difficult because I see for some of you here, if you are with someone and the relationship is not going that great, now, for relationships here, there are two ways here. Some of you, your relationships are going brilliantly, okay? And we have here the Empress card. Where it could be where, when I mentioned earlier, connection could be going to another level. It could be for those of you who have this harmonious and beautiful relationship. Some women watching out there could potentially get pregnant. So if that's not what you're looking for, you need to be careful, okay? Okay. And for those of you who are in a connection and relationship and who are having a lot of trouble with your partner here, I see you taking a break and walking away from that situation. So it could be where potentially you take a break from this person and you are kind of single. There is a chance for you there to meet someone else and you could rekindle this flame here with someone else. I'm sensing that, okay? So it's really a big choice there which you need to make. But for those of you who are in a very harmonious relationship out there, your relationship moving to the next level, it could be where a new person would join your family, okay? You could be getting that news there. And with the Knight of Swords, um, there is going to be a lot of clarity. There is going to be, I'm seeing this clarity for that connection relationship, which is not working. So you are going to be very vocal about it. You are going to express yourself there and you are going to actually say what you feel. So you might probably go to the extent of saying that you want a break from this connection or this relationship. And while you do that, while you are in that singlehood energy, you would be coming in this queen of wands where you know what you want, you know what you're looking for. And when you come in that energy, I do feel there is an opportunity there to meet someone else. Okay. So all of you are in different scenarios here. So please take how it resonates. Okay. Let's move now to your career and finances and see what comes up for you. Okay, so we have the Knight of Rods, the Emperor, Queen of Rods, Eight of Rods, Cancerians, what's up with you this month? Oh my God, we have so many Rods energy. I'm shuffling the cards in front of you, you know, with Cancerian being, um, of course, a water sign here, I feel that you are going to be very, very different this month, okay? It's so much of passion, so much of excitement, which you've never thought. It could be because of all, uh, maybe in the last few months, you have been suppressing yourself, but here I feel you are right out there, okay? Everyone is noticing you. Oh my God, and it is going to be the month of Cancerian, isn't it? July, mm, that's interesting. Probably that's why it's going to be your month, okay? It is your month out there. We have in the Knight of Rods, Queen of Rods, Eight of Rods. I see good news here in all the cards. So if you're expecting to, um, if you're waiting for a job, there could be good news coming up there. There is good news here in regards to your career. Okay, it could be if you're waiting for admission somewhere, you'll get the news that, yes, you've got the admission in that college, university, wherever. Or if you're working, like I said, you could be... Um, getting a good job soon or you could be getting promoted so there is an upgrade here to where you have been okay there is beautiful news coming up there and if you're self-employed here i see there are opportunities here to receive more um, abundance okay so they could be getting more clients coming up to you there is an uplift here there is a notch higher here which you'll be getting and i see you so so excited here so happy 
So whatever you've been working on, Kobe the Emperor, I feel you have been strategically working on something. You've been focused on something since a very long time. And I see that finally your hard work is going to get paid off. If you've been having a lot of desires or dreams, if that, you know, you've had a goal in mind, I see you achieving that goal. So I see you here coming out from this, okay, where you've been maybe in the last few months been really stressed, been really worried, trying to do the right things, the right move out there. And now I see you just like reaping the rewards and the benefits of it. It's all yellow. So you are going to be extremely happy that Cancerians when it comes to your um, financial situation that is so so beautiful so um, in regards to relationship of course there was passion in regards to career as well there is passion the only thing I feel there is way way too much of you know um, energy out of the roads which is good but as quickly as it goes up as quickly as well it can get rained out okay so I feel that what you need to do is really balance yourself probably try meditating a little bit take some time off okay for yourself instead of focusing on other connections on other relationships on uh, on your job on focusing on anything external i feel you need to take some time to calm down relax and focus on internal as well do some chakra meditation some healing and that is going to balance so you quickly will not just be drained out here okay because there is just way too much fire here in your full reading but that's exciting let's see now what message the spirits have for you So we have here two of pentacles, the empress, ace of cups, king of pentacles. So what I'm sensing from this, especially here with the two of pentacles card here, okay, it's like there would be a decision here which you would need to make this month. Now, this I'm feeling a lot, especially in regards to your relationship and connection. If it's not been working well, do you want to stay in that connection? Do you want to move on? Something like that. Or in regards to your career here, you know, there is choices here which needs to be made. Now, at the same time, I do feel that you are going to be working very, very hard this month. And I feel you um, that, you know, you'll be, yes, as the word calls itself, juggling here. So there could be many different things which you're doing. You're not just going to focus on one thing here because you are going to be so excited, so much passion over there. Okay, so it feels like you'd be doing multiple things at one time. I don't even feel that you'll be getting enough sleep. That's how excited here you're going to be. Now, with this, I don't say any wands card. We have your pentacles card. We have it a cups card. So I feel the spirit here wants to tell you, as I told you earlier as well, is that you need to calm down this month because there is going to be so much of enthusiasm within you, so much of excitement. You probably could be sleeping less and working nonstop. So it's that um, type of feeling I'm getting. So here I feel the spirits want to tell you that you need to calm down and you also need to take out time here for yourself and embrace yourself. Look after yourself, maybe go for some spa sessions, go for a mas nice massage, something which will help you to be calm and relaxed, okay? Like this empress here out here. With Ace of Cups and King of Pentacles, your relationship and your career here, I feel, is going to go on a completely different level. You are going to feel the way you've not felt since a very, very long time. You are going to feel emotionally fulfilled and even when it comes to your career, you are going to feel that, yes, it's finally progressing now and you feel your hard work is paying off. Whatever you've been thinking since a very, very long time, that is paying off. So it's beautiful energy, but yes, I do see you overworking. I do see you overthinking over analyzing it's like kind of over on that side but it's not in a bad way it's in a very excited way but you need to learn here to balance it okay that is super important message for you to balance your life but nevertheless it's going to be a very very beautiful month for you out there and happy birthday to all of you Cancerians okay I wish you all the best and take care goodbye